So on our map, we've seen some kind of large scale correlation between the rainfall and the topography of Scotland. Uh, but it would be nice to see if this relationship also exists in a sort of finer scale. So it would be nice if we knew the elevation of each rainfall station. Now, uh, the layer itself doesn't contain that information. Uh, but of course, we do have a, an elevation model. So we could basically just manually zoom into every point and get the inspector out and inspect and near it and I see oh well that oh yeah, that's location that station is oh that's the um that's the wrong layer so I'm going to click next to it yeah and you can see that it's located at 371 meters but with about 200 rainfall stations that would be a bit of much work and there are far more efficient tools available in uh, ArcGIS to do this. In the Spatial Analyst tool, there's an extraction tool. Um, spatial Analyst, Extraction, there's the Extract Values to Points. Uh, so we're going to use that tool. But uh, what you need to know is that this tool only works well when the layers have the same coordinate system. So we need to either, um, and as, and as our um, point data is in the British National Grids and our elevation data is in WGS84 and the tool wouldn't work. So we need to either reproject the elevation model to the British National Grids or reproject the rainfall stations to WGS84. And because, um, because it's the, it's probably, it'll probably be quicker to reproject the, the point data because it's a much smaller file. So we're just going to do that. And we can do that in data management and then projections. And then there's the project, the project tool. And we select our input data, our rainfall stations. And we'll choose a different output, put it in the same folder. And we can just use the same file name, just that WGS84 to the, to the title. And output coordinate system, we just select geographic world WGS 1984. Oh, that's okay. There we go. And sure, ArcGIS has picked the best coordinate transformation tool by default. So let's click OK. And it's running. And there we go. We have a new set of points to it. Um, and now they're in WGS 84. Uh, so now we can use the um, the extract values to points from the spatial analyst tools, and this tool will for each point look up um, a value from a raster. So in this case, if for each point it will look uh, look up elevation at that site. So let's use that points extract values to points. So we extract select our points, which are our new points in WGS84. As input raster, we'll choose our Scotland elevation model. And as output, we'll call it uh, this. And we'll just add elevation to the name. Save. And optionally, you could uh, interpolate values between point locations. So it will try to interpolate uh, values between grid cells. Now our Elevation model with, with 90 meters is already reasonably accurate, so I don't think we need that. Let's just click OK. And that's running in the background. Ah, and it's done. Let's create this new file and let's look at it. And uh, let's look at the attribute table for this file. So now we have uh, we, ha we have our information we used to have and if our rainfall data for each month and then our at the end, there's a field called raster value, and that's the value of the raster that extract values uh, to points extracted, and this just contains the elevation of each station. We see pretty meaningful values for elevation, so that looks looks about right to me. So let's just close the, this attribute table, and we can actually explore this data uh, in view. And then graphs, create graph, and uh, we choose a scatter plot, scatter plots, and well, we already have the right layer. And for on Y, we could put say the rainfall in January, 
And on the x axis, we could do then put elevation, uh, which is in starting raster value. Um, and then we can see that whether or not there's a, a, a correlation between these two variables. And there's not a very striking correlation, but there seems a bit of, uh, to be at least a bit of an envelope of, at the base that seems to be the only relationship between the two. And then if we click next, we can enter titles and, and things to make our graph look more meaningful. Uh, but then we have our graph in, in ArcGIS. So it's a quick way to make it to plot some variables in ArcGIS and explore your data.